One evening at dusk, as Noah stood on his ark, putting green oil in starboard side lamp, his wife came along and said, Noah, something's wrong. Our cabin is getting quite damp. Noah said, is that so? So he went down below and he saw it were right what she'd said. For there on the floor, quite a puddle he saw. It was slopping around under bed. Said he, there's a hole in the bottom somewhere. We must find it before we retire. So he thought for a bit. Then he said, aye, that's it. A bloodhound is what we require. So he went and fetched bloodhound from place where it lay, between the skunk and the polecat it were. And as things there below were a trifle so-so, well, we're glad of the chance of fresh air. They followed the hound as it went sniffing round, till at last they located the leak. To a small hole inside, about two inches wide, where a swordfish had poked in its beak. And by gum, how the wet squirted in through that hole. Well, young Shem, who at sums was expert, worked it out on his slate that it came at the rate of per gallon, per second, per squirt. The bloodhound tried hard to keep water in check by lapping it up with his tongue, but it came in so fast through the hole that at last he just shoved in his nose as a bung. That poor faithful hound, he very near drowned. They dragged him away, none too soon. For the stream, as it rose, pushed its way up his nose and blew him up like a balloon. And then Mrs Noah shoved her elbow in thole and said, Eh, hey, it's stopped, I believe. But they found very soon that she altered her tune because the water had got up her sleeve. When she saw as her elbow weren't doing much good, she told Noah, I've an idea. You sit on the leak. By end of the week, there's no knowing, the weather may clear. Noah didn't think much to this notion at all, but he reckoned he'd give it a try. On the old down he flopped, and the leaking all stopped, and all except him, was quite dry. Well, they brought him his breakfast, dinner and tea, as day after day there he sat, till the rain had all passed, and they landed at last on the top side of Mount Ararat. And that is how Noah brought them all safe ashore, and ever since then, strange to tell, them as helped save the ark have all carried a mark. Aye, and the descendants as well. That's why dog has a cold nose. And ladies have cold elbows. You'll also find, if you inquire, that that's why a man takes his coat tails in hand and stands with his back to the fire. <laughs>